Good afternoon, everybody. This is Kevin with Kevin's Card Collecting and More. Back with you with another Fairfield Friday, and it looks like Donald has been uh, actively keeping the chat warmed up for us. I thank you for that. That's awesome. I uh, came on a little early tonight. Hey there, Robert. Roberto. Cards in my car with R. Posada. <laughs> it's Kevin. So, yeah, I figured I'd come on a little early uh, just to give you guys a little bit of info on what's going on. And uh, so I'll start the actual card breaks at 3. That's uh, Pacific time. But I just wanted to fill you in. This evening, uh, Donald, I know tonight's the big game. The D-backs and the Mariners are squaring off against each other. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to watch it live. Uh, I got We got an invite from our pastor. We're going to have an impromptu uh, business meeting slash dinner tonight. So as soon as my live stream is over, we got to head out to dinner. So I'm not going to be able to watch the game live. So I would appreciate it if you could not uh, giving me any hints about what's going on. I'm going to record it and watch it when I get home this evening. So that's kind of what's going on there. Hey, Faith Family and Sports, how are you? Oh, you can't either. Okay, good. So we don't have to worry about it then, Donald. Um, so yeah, uh, hopefully everybody got the notification. I think I'm figuring out StreamYards now. Things are starting to finally come together for me, and I'm getting this system worked out. Uh, the only thing I've not figured out yet, Donald, maybe you you can answer this. In StreamYards, when the videos are done and I've I've finished the stream... They remain in my upcoming broadcast list. They don't go to the past broadcast list. Do you know how to get them over into the past list? Um, they're just lingering in my upcoming. Even though they've come and gone, they're still showing up in my up upcoming broadcast list. So I'm not sure why StreamYard is doing that, but it seems like it is working. It's getting the notifications out there early enough, so so that's good. It's going to end in a tie, Chuck. Yeah. Well, don't let either of us know because we're both... Uh, I don't know if Donald's recording it, but I'm definitely going to record it. And uh, um, Donald said earlier today, may the best team win. And I agree with him, so I went ahead and congratulated him ahead of time. <laughs> Seeing as the, the type of season the D-backs are having, I don't... Um, I'm not a glass half full kind of guy this season. I'm <laughs> I'm more on the pessimistic side, just based on our track record, unfortunately. But, um... Uh, could end in time. Now, I, say, saying that, I just... If you guys saw last night, we beat the Dodgers, like, was it 5-2, to two, I think. So we actually beat a pretty good team last night. But uh, that's not the norm for the D-backs. Hey, Lefty Hines in the house. Lurking and working, brother. Been working on a series two. Oh! Oh, that's exciting. Cool. Hey, uh, Donald, read what Left Behind put there. That is cool. That's awesome. So we'll call this the end of Series 1. How's that? I've got the two trifold packs from Left Behind we're going to rip open today. And then that'll be it for his Series 1 batch. But uh, he's making reference to a Series 2 coming out soon. So that's that's exciting. So thank you so much for that, Left Behind. And as you know, I I thoroughly enjoy these these packs you put together they are very very um not only creative but uh just they, they come from a sentimental place that I, I i truly appreciate and i i know where your heart is and that's that's awesome and i uh i really appreciate you putting these together a lot of fun uh, i think the audience enjoys op uh, seeing them opened up as well so now this is something different i cannot i cannot say what to expect out of these um have not opened these yet these are the two trifolds I got, but we did finish up with the boxes last week, so we are nearing the end of series one here. But that's okay. I've got I've got some Fairfields to keep us going for a while until series two comes out. You enjoy that's awesome. That's I'm glad you do that, and uh, I I enjoy opening them. So it's kind of like a a win win thing there. Uh, yes, they stay there and just delete the stream yard. Just don't select it from YouTube. And oh, okay, all right. That well, and that's what I've been doing, Donald. I delete them, but then they don't show up in the the past broadcast. They just disappear. And you're correct. You're right. Do not delete them from YouTube. That that is good advice. So, other than that, um, it is Friday. 
thank goodness. <laughs> I don't know about you all, uh, in this part of the country, down in the desert southwest, these last three days have been absolutely phenomenal uh, in regards to the weather. Uh, like four days ago, it was like 120, and then it dropped down to like 90. And then yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before, we were like 65 degrees all day. It was gorgeous. I'm like, what on earth happened? Um, I know we were getting a lot of the smoke from the California fires blowing over this way. Uh, Robert, I, I feel for you. I, 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 I thought it was bad here, but I can't imagine what you're dealing with in your neck of the woods. But um, we, got, we got clobbered by the smoke from the fires. But then we had a huge windstorm come through a couple of days ago and just blew it all out of here. So our, we're, we're back to clear skies again. So that's nice. Um, what am I missing here? Hey, Warcraft, the Relic Hunter. Good to see you. Oh, no, Donald. Oh, that's too bad. Um, Donald, I know there's a lot of apps you can download that give, like, um, live updates. You may want to look into it. MLB.com has an app you can download, and I've done that for my D-backs. In fact, I was doing that on my trip up in your neck of the woods in the, in the evenings. I could log into the hotel, and they actually show pitch by pitch a little artsy cartoonish diagram of the game so that might be something you might want to look into uh get the mariners on that system then you can follow the games anywhere and everywhere uh california has all the heat from the fires yep hey robert Holmes. see now i got to be careful when i say robert there's two different roberts out there uh family is talking to donald that's good and get ash oh man well okay so there you go um if you want to say anything, the pandemic has forced us to wear these masks, which for the Californians is a good thing because they could really use them right now. <laughs> so I'm glad you were already prepared for that. So I've got a few more minutes left and then I'll start. And then, like I said, I do have a dinner arrangement tonight, uh, roughly 4, 430. So as soon as I end the stream, I'm going to have to skedaddle out of here. So I'm not going to linger at the tail end of the stream. That's why I wanted to come on a little early. That way we can chat and kind of get caught up on things and then uh, get right into the cards. So, uh, Oh, yes, Robert. Sorry. We've got Roberto and Robert. That's right. <laughs> um, hey, we got 10 watching. Hey, if everybody could go ahead and hit the like button, give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Um, I did hear recently that YouTube does... Uh, look at the number of likes you have and depending on that determines whether or not they will recommend your video out to other people's channels so um, now I kind of understand why people really push for the thumbs up so if I could oh wow look at them jump now <laughs> so thank you everybody for that appreciate it uh, you can but it blocks out my mirrors say it's blacked out in my area you're fine with the Diamondbacks you live in Nevada that's weird. It blocks out your Mariners. That doesn't make sense that Seattle wouldn't host Mariners. Although, I have heard that, I don't know if it's still this way, but back in the day, the Indianapolis 500, that would be raced at the end of May every year, the local ABC or whatever channel it was that, would bro that broadcast the race na nationwide will not broadcast the race in the state of Indiana. It's it's like a regulation they have. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to force the locals to go to the race in person. And I found that very interesting. So I wonder if that's the same sort of thing there, Donald, that um, they really want the audience to go to the game so they don't broadcast them locally. I wonder if that's the case there. Uh, okay, yep. There you go. That that does it. Makes total sense. I don't agree with it, but... Hey, old Peachy's in the house. Good to see you. Have not seen you in a long while. I think it's about selling tickets. Probably. It, it, it always comes down to money, doesn't it, Faith? It always comes down to the almighty dollar. What I'm worry, wondering about is what about all these people that just bought season tickets for this season? Are they going to reimburse 
Or are they going to let that carry over into next season? How does the season ticket thing work? That's what I'm curious to know about. Um, hmm. And you, and you have to pay for the broadcasting channel. Wow. Yep. It's all about money. <laughs> Whatever they can do to make a buck. Wow. That's that's too bad. So. All right. Well, we got a couple more minutes to go here. Um, I'll go ahead and show what what I've got here. I've got, <clears throat> as you all know, and it's in the title too. This is my final installment of now I know to say series one from Left Behind Times. He's working on series two right now, but these are the remaining products that he sent me in his care package, which is why we dubbed them Care Fields, because he's re he repackaged uh, Fairfield boxes, and in, in today's case, he actually repackaged trifold packs. And he even went so far as to make, you know, little, little top labels. Uh, this one here. It even says San Diego Padres value pack, which is pretty cool. So, uh, looks like these are Padres as well. I don't know about the backs. Looks like Padre, Padre, and Padre. So, don't know what's on the inside of the, the packs, but on the outside cards, they're all, at least as far as we know, Padres which is really, really awesome because he knows I PC the Padres and the Diamondbacks. And that's what I always enjoyed about opening the boxes was you had a general idea of what genre of cards you were going to get. So, But I, I'm going to save these for last like I usually do. I do have two boxes of Fairfields that I'm going to go through. Now, here's the thing. Um, I'm trying to debate if I want to open them both up today because I do have a bit of a time crunch. I... I may just r open these kind of quickly. Um, I have an idea. Yeah. Uh, OPG says he's narrowed his PC down to number 10. Know who that is? I personally do not. Um, Donald was watching one. <laughs> uh, I don't remember that one. I'll have to watch Donald eat the gum. I know I've I've done it a couple times on my live stream. Once anyway. I don't know. Maybe twice. Um, you know what I'm thinking about doing, guys, is because these are the remaining packs that I've got from Left Behind. I think I'm going to do one this week and one next week. And then I'm only going to open up one box today. Just for sake of time. So... Here's what I need for y'all to do. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit so you can see. For sake of time, because I do have to run at the end of the stream and I don't wanna rush it just to, to get through it. I wanna enjoy it. So let me all let me know what y'all want me to open up, the left or the right. Each one comes with a 100, 100 pack box and a trifold. Uh, Brave, I'm gonna say Acuna Jr. Opichi. Okay, we got one vote for the left from Warcraft. Uh, <laughs> Chuck says he's gonna vote to the for the right. I I can appreciate that, Chuck. That's good. The right is always better. Okay, so we're two to, two to one there. Warcraft. If you can get some more people to vote left, we're gonna have to go with the right one. Okay, Faith went right. It looks like we're, uh, well, to prevent this from getting <laughs> to become a political show, we're going to have to, uh, oh, do it. Green is my favorite color, left. Uh, left behind says right. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, Chipper. Oh, okay, I was thinking modern day. I got you. Okay, I was thinking the modern Braves. And I don't, and I'm, I'm not even sure what number Acuna is, but uh, Chipper Jones. That's hey, that's a good PC. You can never go wrong with with that. So okay, now Donald. Well, you already voted Donald, but um, it does look like we have more on the right. So we're gonna open up this box and this trifold this week. Next week I'm gonna open up this, 
And something different about next week, I'm probably going to be uh, on a different location. I'm not going to be filming from this desk next week. I'm going to try something different next week. So look forward to that. So let me set these completely out of the way. <clears throat> Sorry to my left uh, voting people. <laughs> Okay, and even Robert Posada wants the right. So <clears throat> there you have it. We've got the right. So I'm going to open up this one box, which is actually interesting. This is an old 2018 box, and I have not opened up a 2018 in quite a while. So we're going to open up this one, and then we're going to open up this trifold from Left Behind Times. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get started. Got 11 watching, 9 thumbs up. If any of you have not hit the thumbs up, please do. Get me over that. Uh, get me to the double digits. That'd be awesome. I'd appreciate it. So, here we go, ripping into the 20, did I say 18? Yeah, I believe this is 2018. I'll verify that here in a second when I look at the label. Looks like we got a pack of 90 Donruss in the middle, but uh, this box is, eh, it's not even dated. It's not a date that we recognize. Unless that's 2017, but I don't think so. So, we will set that box over. Here, let me fold this up. You've already seen this video? <laughs> okay, that is... Uh, Warcraft apparently is a time traveler and went into the future. Watched this video and knows that I'm going to pull an autograph of Scott Rowland. Now, would that not be weird if that actually happened? <laughs> so, like I said, our middle pack, I believe this is a 1990 Donruss. It is, so we will set that in the back, and we will open up that at the midway point. So, we will open up the back half first, which is where we find our... Um, our usually, the relics and autos are in the front half, so we'll open up that last. So, all right. <laughs> Warcraft is looking for an auto of Scott Rowland. That's kind of a weird prediction. Um, all right. Looks like I want to put the newer cards in the back. Uh, I don't see any thick cards in either stack, so I don't think we're going to get a relic. But uh, that would make sense if, in fact, Warcraft is correct and we're going to get an autograph <laughs> of Scott Rowland. All right, so starting out here with a Yankee Bernie Williams. Got Chili Davis for the Minnesota Twins. Uh, we got Mark Davidson for the Astros. Uh, Luis Salazar for the Cubs. Mike Jeffcoat, shout out to Robert Home for the Cleveland Indians. <clears throat> that's what he wants to be called, so that's what I call him. Uh, Pat Tabler for the Mets. We got Ernie Witt for the Blue Jays. Wes Chamberlain for the Phillies. Boom! Donald, check it out. Randy Johnson in a Mariners uniform. 1993, I think that says. Boom. Oh, you're you're a Cleveland guy too, huh, Warcraft? Okay, I know Robert, or I'm sorry, Robert Holm is an Indians fan. I'm not sure. I believe he's a Texan though. But uh, boom, that is nice. Shout out to Donald there. Not only is that a Mariner, but that's a Mariner that I like. Because look, there's this little guy right next to him. There he is. That's cool. All right. Followed by a Chan Ho Park for the Dodgers. I uh, got a 1982 set here. Uh, a couple cards. Mike Torres for the Red Sox. And Jose Morales for the Orioles. We got Candy Maldonado for the Giants. Hey, there's Tim Flannery for the Padres. Tim Flannery, I'm going to set that one aside in my Padres collection. Then we've got Ron Jackson, first baseman for the Twins. Seattle Mariners, Randy Johnson, the big unit. That's awesome. Uh, Mo Sanford, uh, Andy Van Slyke for the Pirates. Boom, Jose Canseco. Love him or hate him, still a nice card. In fact, uh, what does that say? Member, member's choice. 
Top Stadium Club from 1992. That's actually a very nice card. Um, the gloss is really, really sharp. I'm going to set it up here, although I'm not going to cover up Randy. No one should cover up Randy. All right, then we've got a <clears throat> Bob Welch for the Dodgers. Uh, $5 Super Chat. <clears throat> okay. I don't have Super Chat, but hey. <clears throat> Man, I'm getting a frog in my throat. Uh, yes, Randy Johnson is definitely worth a $5 Super Chat. Um, uh, Herb Score. Herb Score. I think I've heard of him before. Uh, Alex Fernandez for the White Sox. Shout out to Chuck. Got Al Newman here with the Minnesota Twins. Uh, Jimmy Key for the Blue Jays. Got Joey Cora. Joey Cora for the Padres. He is um, he's a third base coach. I'm just trying to remember what team he, he coaches for now. But he's third, uh, third base c coach. I can't recall right now. Maybe if some of you out there know. But you always see him when they're run rounding the bases there at third. He's waving them home. Uh, Herb Score used to play for the White Sox. I have oh, <clears throat> you know Chuck, you may have told me that before. I there's something that I remember about that name. Yeah, I I, I think I pulled it, and you may have told me that before. Uh, well, there's an interesting card. I just, I don't know who it is yet, but it's whoever it is. They've been bushwhacked, and that's going to go to the Cardinals. Ooh, that's not good. 1987 World Series. The Cardinals are bushwhacked by, uh, looks like they're playing the Twins there in the picture. Interesting. There's Mark Parch Portugal for the Astros. Uh, Cora used to play and coach for the White Sox. Oh, he did? Okay. Well, he's, he's still coaching. I've seen him recently this year. I just don't know who he's with. But um, uh, there's a top prospect for Paul Wilson for the Mets. Uh can't say I know him. It's got a Hollywood face, doesn't he? He's look like it's got that Tom Cruise like I'm an actor and I make millions type of look. Hmm. Uh, there we got Jack McDowell for the White Sox. Hey Fitzy, how you doing there, brother? Thanks for jumping in. Uh, Pirates, thank you, Faith. I appreciate that. Okay. That that makes sense because I know I've seen. Oh my goodness, Donald. Donald, are you watching? This box had has Donald written all over it. Edgar Martinez for the Seattle Mariners. All right. Um, I'm not going to cover Randy completely, but they are going to share the stand there. What are the odds? I pulled an Edgar Martinez and a Randy Johnson out of the same Fairfield box. Is that his rookie? No kidding. Well, in that case, I thanks for letting me know that, Donald. I did not know. He deserves a sleeve. All right. Edgar Martinez. Rookie. Is it really his rookie? Sort of. Um, it shows he was... With the Mariners in 87 and 88. So I'm going to... I'm not going to argue with you or dispute you, but I'm going to say there's room for discussion there. <laughs> Why he shows him with the Mariners in 87 and 88. So... Okay, now we've got other folks saying 88 was his rookie. Okay, well... It's not worth losing sleep over. <laughs> but uh, I think that's the oldest Martinez card I've ever had. Oh, my word, guys. Are you kidding? I'm not joking, guys. This was the next card. I didn't even notice it. Boom. Tony Gwynn, Donruss, 89. Are you kidding me? Are you joking? Randy, Edgar, Tony... Sorry, Don. Well, I don't want to be rude to Donald, so I'm going to put Tony over here. He deserves his own stand. How's that? Got to be fair to the Mariners. 
This is like a future blonde doll box. I know, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, this didn't have the blue tape on it, but left behind, are you sure this didn't come from you? <laughs> oh my word. Wow, Bob Tewksbury with the Yankees. Things like that just don't happen, you know? They, they don't. There's a higher power at work there. Uh, Ed Miller for the Braves. Okay, there's a whole slew of new cards. Or newer, I should say. We got Ryan Howard for the Phillies. Got an Orioles franchise history card. Trying to read what that record's for. Is that... Uh, I don't know enough about... Donald, does that card in any way have anything to do with Cal Ripken Jr.? Is that number associated with him? Like numbers of uh, games played or, or something? Is that a stat for Cal Ripken Jr.? It doesn't... Nothing... I mean, it's got his name as an all-time leader there. But I don't know if that number refers to him or not. <laughs> Forget the care fields. This box is fire. So this is a, a Ripken Jr. card then, huh? In a matter of speaking? <laughs> My goodness. Where did this box come from? I wish I knew. Um, I really don't know where I got this box. Wow. When he broke the record. Okay, so that is Ripken Jr. That's... Wow. <laughs> Unreal. Okay. Uh, Colorado Rockies franchise history. Um, sorry, Donald, nothing there for you. My goodness, Chipper Jones. Hey, War Warcraft, are you looking? Now, this is War Warcraft's card. Chipper Jones with the Bra Braves. This box is unreal. Oh, and I got to ring the bell for Cal Ripken, too. So that was a, a double one for Chipper and... <laughs> you know... If Fairfield ever wants to do a commercial, this they should show this video. Because after seeing this, everyone's going to rush out and buy Fairfields. Uh, not your card. Well, you said you were a chipper collector. I thought you'd get a kick out of that one. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh... Something for everybody. Exactly. Chuck's is unbelievable. Oh, Warcraft. I'm sorry. That's right. Opeachy. Good call. Thank you, sir. Opeachy, if you're lurking in the background, we just pulled a Chipper Jones. Boom. There he is. Sorry about that, Warcraft. Thanks for uh, speaking up on that. I, I have trouble keeping up with all y'all. Yes, this box is full of Hall of Famers. Boom. Hey, Chat Town. Chat down. You, you are, you just jumped in the middle of probably the most awesomest uh, Fairfield, and I say that without the hit. I don't even. I, I, there's no autograph or relic, but I've got Tony Gwynn, Randy Johnson, Edgar Martinez, Cal Ripken Jr. We just pulled a Chipper Jones. I mean, this is like, wow. Okay, Joe Maurer for the Twins, uh, and there's Jack Fla uh, Flaherty. Uh, Chuck was saying it's his rookie card. He's a Christian, so he's definitely somebody that we support and root on. That is cool. Um, my goodness. So whoever voted for the right box, you voted correctly. Wow. Art Terry Pendle. Look at this, guys. Jack Morris. Here he is with the Indians. <laughs> my goodness. Oh, there's a card stuck to it. I was going to say, I flipped it over and it wasn't him. And it's a Dan Wilson for the... Seattle Mariners! There. Sorry, if you get a um, an interruption, I got a phone call. I, del I turned it off there. All right, uh, Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. All right, Dan Wilson. I've never heard of Dan Wilson, Donald, but you may have. He is a Seattle Mariner. All right, let's see. We got uh, a Ryan Hannigan for the Reds. Uh, San Diego Padre. We got a 
Russell Brannion. Russell Brannion. Uh, came from the Indians and the Reds and the Brewers. Interesting. Never heard of him. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. This this pack is this box is unreal. Joe Benson for the uh, looks like the Twins, Minnesota Twins rookie card, and love them or hate them, guys. But I just pulled a Bryce Harper card. Bryce Harper. <laughs> my goodness, I'm I'm not a fan. Don't get me wrong. I, I'm not excited about that card, but it is a big pull for somebody out there that would like a Bryce Harper card. My goodness. Uh, Alejandro de Aza for the Chicago White Sox. Uh, Roy Oswalt for the Astros. Uh, Matt Kemp for the Dodgers. Let's see, we got uh, Michael Bourne for the Astros. Uh, Chris Davis for the Rangers. And our final, <laughs> I know, right? Exactly, Chuck. Um, <clears throat> Our final card is going to be a another Seattle Mariner, Felix Hernandez, for the Seattle Mariners. I know Donald appreciates that, but so does Left Behind Times. He's a big proponent of shouting out the Seattle Mariners. This box is unreal, and we're only halfway through, guys. We are only halfway through. So let's go ahead and get into this 1990 Donruss. not overly excited about this um i i don't think i've ever pulled a lot of good cards out of 90 donruss in the past but at the rate we're going you never know so and our puzzle piece is a part of carl yastrzemski holding a bat all righty all right moving on 1990 these are the must uh ketchup cards i almost said mustard but these are the infamous Ketchup cards. Tommy Green for the Braves. Kelly Gruber for the Blue Jays. Mackie Sasser for the Mets. Danny Heap for the Red Sox. <laughs> I'm not even going to speak. Boom! Tony Gwent All-Star card. Oh my goodness. Uh, left behind, I can go ahead and tell you the trifles don't compare to this Fairfield, man. I think that's Harper's second year. Uh, what's... Hey, Jason. See if it's an error. What what would make it an error? I cannot believe I just pulled a Tony Gwynn out of that. Um, what's the error on the Bryce Harper card? Let me know and I'll, I'll look for it. That's a second year card? Uh, sure looks like it. And let me sleeve it up. It's a hot box. It is a hot box. My goodness, this is unreal. So what's the story on the Harper? What's the error? Okay, I'll, I'll wait for you guys to chime in and let me know what to look for. Uh, recent Major League performance instead of All-Star Game performance. Oh, on the Gwyn card. Okay, so... Um, recent Major League performance instead of All-Star. No, it says All-Star. So I, I guess it, it instead of saying All-Star Game performance, it would say Major League on the error. Okay, did I get your Super Chat? Well, I saw you type in Super Chat, Donald... Uh, I don't know how to handle that because I don't have Super Chat. <laughs> but I, I appreciate the sentiment for sure. And I did make mention of it. Um, okay, well, that's interesting on the Gwyn card. I didn't even know about that. I've got some of these in my collection. I'll have to go back through them and see if they, in fact, have that error to them. So, awesome. Oh, Donald sent a paper. Oh, really? I've never received such a thing. Um, cool, Donald. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate that, brother. Sorry. Thumbs thumbs up. Here. Uh, I, I, uh, let me see if I can do this five times. One, one two, three, four, 
four, five. That was ugly, but nonetheless, thank you, Donald. I appreciate that. That is awesome. Tons of errors in the set. Um, okay. That is good to know. I wasn't aware of that. So maybe I could have more fun with Donruss 90 than I was aware of. Um, uh, just looking at this score uh, checklist, I do see Benito Santiago, which is cool because I do PC him. See if anyone else stands out here. Uh, Jay Bell, not bad. He used to be a D-back. Cool. Thanks to uh, Steve from Carter's Kids, I actually start looking at checklists now, which is kind of a, a unique thing. Uh, oh, boom! Sammy Sosa with the White Sox. Is that his rookie? I do believe it is. You have the link on your computer. You had to do it manually through PayPal. I'm on my... Oh, okay. I got you, Donald. Uh, good day to bring the bell back. I know, right? Yep. About half the cards. Really? I did not know that, Chuck. And Jason, I appreciate you guys letting me know. I had no idea. So this is Sammy's rookie card, huh? All right. Well, I got to cover Bryce up. That just it's hurting my eyeballs. Looking at that, it's like looking at 90... 91 Fleer. It burns. Um, this is an unbelievable box. Yep. All right. Then we got Craig Lefferts for the Giants. Was he with the Padres? Yes, he was. In fact, um, I'm going to set this card aside because my father just recently told me a story of my dad ran into him one day and they got they had a nice conversation. So I'm going to hold on to that Craig, Craig Lefferts card for my dad. He'll appreciate that. Um, Bill Bath or Bath. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. Bill Bath. Mike Moore for the A's. Melito Perez for the White Sox. Boom! Mark Grace. I wish that was his rookie. But I'm going to hold on to this card nonetheless. I do collect Mark Grace cards now that he's with the Diamondback organization. I am loving this box. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Cecilio Guante. That's pretty cool. Guante is Spanish for glove, in case you didn't know that. So his name is Cecilio Glove. So you'd think he'd be more like a catcher, right? You'd want him to be a catcher. Call him Glove. <laughs> uh, Mark Williamson for the Orioles. Juan Agosto for the Astros. And a Clay Parker for the Yankees. All right, let me get caught up. Uh, good cover. Uh, hold on. I, I, Sorry, you guys are going faster than I can read, which is awesome. Uh, let's see. Um, about half the cards. Yep, saw that. Sosa, nice. Unbelievable box. Good cover. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, left behind. Uh, Fairfield. They, here's what it is. Fairfield apparently has been watching my streams left behind, and they see what you're doing with your care field, and they've decided they need to step up their game. They've got some competition with you, so that's what's going on here. Yep. Hey, Boomsling. Thanks for jumping in. Good to see you. Boomsling, you are missing an absolute epic Fairfield box. This is a Fairfield for the ages. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through all the cards at the end and show you guys what we got, but unreal. It just keeps getting better. Yeah. Hey, Chucky Fitzies, everyone's saying hi. Aren't you glad we chose the right? Yes, I am, Donald, for sure. This is awesome. Okay, so let me set these cards aside now. All right, moving into our other half. And this is where you're going to get a hit. If you get a hit, uh, it's going to be in this part of the box. But as far as I'm concerned, we've got enough hits. I don't need another hit, but I'll take one, of course. Uh, we got Troy Tulowitzki for the uh, Rockies. Desmond Jennings, a rookie card for the Rays. Brandon Dixon for the Cardinals. James Loney. James Loney. I wonder if, well, I, I wonder if his nickname is Ball. Ball Loney. Okay, that was bad. I, I apologize. That was horrible. Uh, James Baloney. Chris Johnson for the Astros. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I'll be here all week. Juan Nicasio 
for the Rockies? <laughs> Baloney. Uh, uh, we got a rookie for Jeff. Jeff Supin for the Red Sox. We got a Jose Offerman for the Royals. Andy Fox for the Yankees. These Fleer 96s are, I don't know, kind of, I don't know. I don't want to say cheap or cheesy, but they're super thin. They feel like paper, and they look like they've been printed on just regular copy paper. Um, they got Dale Murphy, possible future Hall of Famer there for the Braves. Jane, Jamie Easterly for the Brewers. <clears throat> Sparky Anderson, manager for the Tigers. And Stadium Club 1993 award winners. Okay, info card of 10. Looks like this is part of a little mini insert set. Boom, Ron Hassey. Check it out, Left Behind. I know he, Left Behind's always throwing in Ron Hassey cards for me. But uh, my dad played ball with Ron Hassey growing up. So um, that's pretty cool. Actually, I'll set that one aside for my dad as well to go along with the Craig Lefferts. Do tell James Baloney to say cheese. <laughs> That's good. Uh, not a joke. I like James. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, Mashal International Ministries is in the house. My goodness. Mashal International Ministries showed up to say hi. Uh, this, this video, Nico, is one for the, rec for the ages. I've never pulled so many uh, good cards out of a Fairfield box before. So... Uh, not a good joke. I like James. <laughs> okay, not a good joke. Sorry, I apologize. Um, <laughs> always go with the right. It's always a win. Why do you think our Savior sits on the right hand of God? Ah, Chuck. Very, very clever. This is true. Our Savior does sit on the right hand. So when in doubt, go to the right. Uh, that was good. Or at least I like his card. Don't really know him, okay? <laughs> Uh, you should frame that Sparky card. It's the only one where he's smiling, right? Nice, Hassie. Yes, it was. 83 tops. Sparky Anderson is a Hall of Famer. Is he a Hall of Famer? I guess he, he should be if he's not, but uh, yeah. I'll... Wow, yeah, he's been around forever. Well, he has been. Born in 34. All right, I'll, I'll give him some sleeve. Uh, yeah, Nico, this box is unreal. Uh, again, I'll, I'll recap all these cards later, but <clears throat> I think we got our money's worth out of our first card, <laughs> and it's just been growing from there. All right, <clears throat> moving on, we got a Ken Ryan rookie card for the Red Sox. Uh, we got a Domingo Cedeno for the Blue Jays, Wally Joyner for the Angels. Devon White, rookie card with the Angels. I, I'm sure most of you are tired of hearing the story, so I won't blabber on again about it, but uh, he flew into the airport I used to work at, and I got to personally drive him to the ball field. So that was a pretty cool moment. Harold Baines for the White Sox. Ken Harrelson for the Red Sox. You know, the Sox always come in pairs. You notice that? And I know that's a pun. But we always get the White Sox and the Red Sox, so we always get a pair of socks. But don't shh. I'm on a roll tonight. Dan Schatzeter. Schatzeter, not sure how to pronounce it, for the Expos. Ron Gant, everybody's favorite uh, TTMer. He does TTM, so I'm going to set that one aside. Uh, we got Joe Lefebvre. Lefebvre. That's a French. Oh, my goodness. I'm missing a bunch of Hall of Famers. All right, let me go back. Who, who did I miss? Uh, okay, Hall of Famers coach. Okay. Uh, Baines. Did I pull a Baines? Oh, yes, of course. Harold Baines. Okay, we can set that one aside. And then Harrelson. The Ken Harrelson. He's a Hall of Famer, and he's an announcer for the White Sox. Good to know. So a couple uh, Red Sox and White Sox. Again. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy luck we're having in this box. 
he was probably smiling in 75 and 84. Did the uh, Tigers, may I assume they won, or whoever he was coaching at the time won the series? Interesting. Uh, okay, there's Je Le Fivu. Larry Sorensen, spelled with one L. That's different. Uh, Andy Van Slyke. There he is with the Reds, or Card Reds, Cardinals. They are red, though. Uh, Barry Bonds and Albert Bell, dual card. So there's the Barry Bonds. Another hit. My hit stand is getting overwhelmed there. Um, okay, we got Danny Tartable with an o- on an Opeachy card. Shout out to Opeachy. Okay, Reds in 75. Got it. Got it. Thanks, guys. Okay, we've got Mike McFarland for the Royals. Barry Jones for the White Sox. Uh, Steve Searcy, rated rookie card for the Tigers. We got Andy Alanson for the Indians. Uh, Chuck Carr for the Marlins. Kurt Gibson. Nice. Poor guy. He uh I believe he's got Parkinson's now, which is very unfortunate. It's just amazing to see, you know, a vibrant, healthy, athletic stud basically just kind of fall apart physically. It's kind of a sad thing. I saw a good documentary on him not too long ago. Uh, Brian Holton with the Dodgers. Dave Gallagher for the White Sox. A lot of White Sox today. What's up with that, Chuck? Uh, Tim Wallach for the Expos. Tom Foley for the Expos. Uh, Yamil Benitez. There we go. And we got our classic duplication. Yep. Fairfield, you did not fail me. I got my dupes. All right, we got a Ryan McGuire for the Expos. Oh, double, <laughs> double duplicate. How about that? Uh, laundry day for Jason. Mm, interesting. Right side wins. Lots of White Sox. Yes. Uh, Paul Kil- Kilgus for the Cubs. Uh, Dick Schofield for the Angels. This is kind of a weird thing I just thought of, but isn't that name Dick Schofield? Wasn't he one of the astronauts on the Challenger that exploded back in 86? I'm really reaching deep into my memory blank, but that name sounds familiar. I think he was one of the uh, astronauts that perished in in the Challenger accident. Uh, What am I missing? Chuck, he is the announcer that says, you can put it on the board. Yes, after home runs. Ah, okay. Jason says, don't think so. Okay. Oh, maybe Dick Scobie. Maybe that's his name, Scobie. Anyway, back to Chuck's White Sox just dominating this box. Ivan Calderon. We got a Carl Nichols for the Orioles. Uh, Gene Larkin for the Twins. Well, we just thought you were, you know, really emphasizing. It's like when Jesus says, verily, verily, you know. He's bringing importance to something. And Chuck, our left behind, really wanted to make his statement pronounced, so he doubled it. Um, Ramon Martinez for the Dodgers. Steve Trout for the Seattle Mariners. Eric King for the White Sox, again. It's interesting how that's off-centered. Wouldn't you think the names would be uh, more centered than that? I don't know. It just looks odd, kind of off to the left there. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to get our hit, but uh, we don't need it. Believe me, we've got plenty of good stuff here. Tim Laudner for the Twins. Oh, boom, Dave Stewart. Dave Stewart for the Athletics. Looks like that card's got some papered loss there in the corner from whenever it was uh, opened. Then we got a Willie, Willie McGee for the Giants. And our final card out of this Fairfield box is a Ken Dixon for the Baltimore Orioles. Wow. That was truly one for the ages. That was fun. 
So I appreciate you all uh, being here and sharing that with me. That was, I'm not going to say one of my better Fairfields. That was the best Fairfield I've ever gotten. That did not have an autograph or relic in it. And I don't honestly believe a, a relic or an autograph would have matched what we got. Let me show you guys what we pulled here out of this one $5 box from Walgreens. Tony Gwent All-Star card, Don Russ 90. Don Russ MVP from 1989, Tony Gwynn. Mark Grace with the Cubs. Sammy Sosa, rookie card with the White Sox. Bryce Harper, second year card with the Nationals. Um, Barry Bonds on a dual card with Albert Bell. Uh, Ken Harrelson for the Red Sox. Harold Baines for the White Sox. Sparky Anderson, Hall of Famer manager for the Tigers. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Here he is with the Indians. Chipper Jones, obviously, Hall of Famer with the Braves. <clears throat> uh, Jose Canseco card. We got a Randy Johnson with the Mariners. Edgar Martinez, second year card with the Mariners. And a Cal Ripken Jr. franchise history Orioles card. I mean, uh, that is just unreal. That was fun. Yeah, yeah, and I again, if you guys aren't here with me, then I wouldn't have the fun of opening it. So, thank you so much for riding along for that uh, adventurous joyride, for sure. <clears throat> so, with that, we're going to open up this trifold. Let me see, Is my knife gonna work on this? I'll use my knife. Actually, I think I'm gonna use scissors. Just, I think it'd be easier to open up with scissors. <clears throat> Let me take a swig of water here real quick. All right. So, as you guys know, and I've <clears throat> I announced this at the beginning, this is a repacked trifold pack from Left Behind Times that uh, he, I mean, you can't tell. Honestly, it looks like a new pack except for the, you know, the label is shorter than it normally would be, but he even labeled the Padres his his repacking skills are just second to none so unfortunately i think the safest way to do it is just to rip um i'd love to take care of it but i'm not going to repack these so i'm just going to okay i'm not sure why that tape was there because it was already sealed here i'm just gonna cut down the the bottom here. Here, I'll do like Eric Jabs does. I'm just going to open them up all at once and then we'll go through them. So, my apologies left behind for just cutting open this masterful repack work you did. But it's just, I think, the easiest and safest way to do it. Grip and rip. That's it. Oh, did you guys both say that, not knowing the other guy was going to say it? Wow. See, that's just, that's the Holy Spirit telling you guys what to say. That's all that is. All right. Grip and snip. Well, I did snip a little. Uh, fortunately, I didn't snip the cards. That's a good thing. So here we go. Looks like this is going to be a, I'm going to guess, all Padres, maybe? Based on the fact that it said Padres on the top. So we got a John Crook, 89 tops card. Got a Gerald Clark, Donruss, 91. Jimmy Jones, pitcher. Uh, Fleer, what year is this? 88. Fleer, 88. And there's an Ed Whitson, Fleer, 88. Tim Flannery, tops, 89. Carmelo Martinez, tops 89. Randy Reddy, 88. And Eric Shaw. Uh, Eric Shaw, that's a, that's a story in and of itself. Uh, very unfortunate um, ending to his life. Um, poor guy, he just he had issues with sobriety and, and drugs and all sorts of issues that eventually took him too, too young. But he does have, he had a good testimony, so I do believe he was saved. So that... That's a, an encouraging thought. Uh, here we go with score. We got Tim Flannery. Oh, there we go. Boom. We got our duplicates. Got our duplicates. 
Carefield duplicate, Lance McCullers, Andy Hawkins, Keith Comstock, Marvell Wynn, Mark Parent, Dennis Rasmussen, Ultra uh, Fleer Ultra 91s, Andy Bennis. These are the relish cards. Water sip. Grip and snip, water sip. Never heard the story. I'll have to look into it. I believe. Uh, no. I don't think it was suicide. I think it was an overdose. And I don't think it was a deliberate overdose. Um, I, I'm not going to say 100% certainty on that, but I don't recall it being a suicide. Um, so, we had our, uh, earlier we had our ketchup cards. These are our relish cards. Donruss 91. Uh, Bruce Hurst, Fleer Ultra 91. Uh, Carmelo Martinez. Uh, Randy Reddy. Mark Davis, Dickie Thon, Stan Jefferson, Chris Brown, Mark Parent, there's a black border, Gerald Clark, oh, another Mark Parent, ah, he separated them there, huh? I, he tried to fool me, but I caught it, oh, and Gerald Clark, you sly guy, so two duplicates in there. See, a lot. He actually puts a lot of thought into these packaging, and I appreciate that. Uh, Andy Hawkins, eighty-nine tops. Randy Reddy, Chris Brown, Eric Nolte, not to be confused with Nick. No relation. Uh, yeah. Darren Jackson. Uh, another Eric Shaw, and it, uh, another thing, guys, it's pronounced Shaw. I know you look at it and you go, "Oh, it's Eric Show," but it was pronounced Shaw. And um, I actually did get a chance to meet him back in the '80s, and I got his autograph. I've since lost the autograph. I, I'm sure it got tossed out in the trash at some point. I feel bad about it, but I do remember he was coming out of the clubhouse with a bunch of other players, and he walked kind of off to the side jumped there was a like a bike rack next to the clubhouse he jumped on this 10 speed and started riding off and i kind of ran down and chased him and i yelled mr shaw mr shaw and he stopped and he he signed something for me i don't even know what it was but uh yeah he was a nice guy uh dave leeper uh marvell win there's ed whitson diamond king's card Greg Harris, Tim Tufel, or Tufel, uh, Craig Shipley, Kurt Stillwell, Gerald Clark. I like how he's got them kind of segmented into the, the same types of cards. Uh, Rich Rodriguez, uh, Dave Statton, a rated rookie. Guillermo Velasquez. Two to go here. We got no another Rich Rodriguez. Where's that other one at? There it is. Rich Rodriguez. We'll put in our final card is a Tim Scott. Tim Scott. So an all Padres trifold pack. That was cool. How often do you get to open up an entire pack of nothing but your PC cards? That was fun. So your Padres collection is definitely going to increase. Yes, sir, it is. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a, a new, uh, bigger box for my Padres for sure. So, well, with that, guys, I don't have anything else to open. Well, I do, but I'm going to wait till next week. That way we can extend the, uh, the Left Behind Carefield Fairfield opening. And, again, next week I'm going to be at a different location. So I hope you guys can tune in for that one. That will be a special, special episode. But I will definitely open up those two. And depending on time constraints, I may or may not open up more product. I don't know. So we'll see how that goes. So with that, uh, oh, brings back memories of the 80s when I watched many Padres games at Jack. Yep, Jack Murphy. Been there. Absolutely. When I was living in Las Vegas, we saw Dave Statton hit a huge homer off the lighted scoreboard. And he also gave. Oh, that's cool. Boom slang. That's right. You're a, an old uh, Metro officer. That's right. Um, as you know, I've told you I live in Henderson. I live uh, not far from Lake Mead 
and Boulder, if you know that intersection, heading out toward the lake. Uh, that's that's where I reside. So much respect for uh, your your folks. That uh, they've got a tough job these days. You got out at a good time, sir. I must say, but um, I do respect you and I thank you. And uh, I'm glad you were able to move off to where you enjoy being. You're definitely out of the heat. Uh, it's it's a it was hot this summer for sure. Uh, oh, I was left behind leaving. Oh, okay. Take care, left behind. All right. Yep. <laughs> uh, thanks, Kevin. Praise the Lord. Amen, Michelle. Thanks for jumping in and joining us. Yes, you got out of the heat. Uh, and these fires from California are not helping. Um, it's been oh, it's been nasty. It's hot. The 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 smoke in the air. It's just been nasty. So. Oh, yep, the downtown area. That oof. I, you know, I as you know, Boom Slang, being a local, I never go downtown. Uh, the the downtown, the boulevard, the strip, that is for tourists. You've got to be out of your mind to want to go down there if you actually live here. So I, I have not been to the, the only time I go down to the strip is really only when we have friends or family visiting and they want to see it. And I typically will just drive them down the strip. I don't we don't get out and walk it. I just drive them. I uh, used to go boating on Lake Mead every... Oh, man. I, I went once. A friend of mine had a boat. We went out, and we got halfway out, and his motor conked out on us. And the sun was setting, and a storm was moving in. So I, I climbed up as high as I could on the boat, and I was flashing a flashlight to get other boaters' attention. Fortunately, somebody came to our rescue, and they threw us a, a line, and they towed us into the to the little dock there. Uh, oh, man. Yeah, try working there every day. It was tough. No, no, thank you. No, no. I don't need to go down there. It's just too nuts, too crazy. And uh, I'm I'm guessing it's only gotten stranger. Um, they say they've cleaned up Fremont. Um, I've I've only been living here for five years now, so I don't know what Fremont was like back in the day. But they say they've cleaned it up quite a bit. And from what I've seen on Fremont. If that if that's the cleaner version, I cannot imagine what it used to be, because it was still it's out of control now, and they say that's clean. Uh, yeah, there's no reason to go down there, <laughs> none. So, guys, I could go on talking forever about this, and I love chatting with you guys. But as I mentioned earlier in my stream, I do have a dinner engagement tonight. I've got to run, so I'm going to end the stream. I gotta get ready to go and head out to dinner meet some friends so with that i'm gonna say sign off and say goodbye to y'all thanks so much for joining me today i, lo I love you having you guys here um it, it's it's the best way to cap off my week to be honest with you it's a great way for a friday just to end the week hanging out with you guys so yep uh fremont used to be nice oh wow i, I can't even imagine that oh you had to get a toe in too huh yeah, maybe it's just something about us baseball fans are not meant to be out in the water. Uh, yeah, thanks for jumping in, Boomslang. Appreciate having you with us and chatting along. Yeah, you take care there, Jason. Take care, Field. Oh, <laughs> knocked cards down. That was my little drum slap for Jason's joke. All right, guys, I'm going to end the stream. Have a great weekend. Uh, God bless all of you, and we'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.